Hello world travelers, Flying Caveman with you again. Today we're in Erbil, Kurdistan, Iraq, and we're going to be flying to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Our route of flight is going to take us down through Iraq, out over the Persian Gulf, and into the UAE at Dubai. We'll be aboard this beautiful Boeing 737-800. It's about eight years old. Some information on Fly Dubai, officially Dubai Aviation Corporation. It's owned by the Emirati government. It's a low-cost airline that operates out of Dubai to about 96 locations. They've currently got about 67 Boeing 737s and they've got another 150 on order. The Erbil International Airport is a fairly new airport. It only opened in 2005. There was an older airport that sat on the same property and is now adjacent to it. Erbil has one of the longest runways in the world, 15,750 feet. There's only seven airports in the world that have longer runways than Erbil has. Erbil Airport check-in has 20 stations here. Every time I've flown with Fly Dubai, they use the first three, with station one being business class, station two and three being economy class check-in. I did not take any video of the immigrations or security check-in. They're a bit sensitive to that right here, and they're also doing some modifications at the airport where the duty-free used to be they've now moved it over into the center here and I'm sure they're going to expand that even over into where the old duty-free was. Walking down to gate 205 there's another security station that you go through I'm not going to video that either but you come out right here gate 205 is on the right you've got a snack bar area on the left if you look down the hall there's three more gates down there and also a place where you can go downstairs to the Dewan CIP lounge, but that's a pay lounge. The Erbil Airport is a very clean airport. They're meticulous about keeping it clean. Although I have to admit, I don't think I've ever seen a cleaning crew. So I'm not sure how they pull that one off, but uh, I gotta give it to them. Everything is very immaculately clean. Departure areas are medium sized. Most of the flights that come in here are 737 and Airbus 320, 321 style aircraft. The gate agents today did ask me not to video the boarding process, so I'll skip that. On any other day, they may be more than happy to let you video. It's kind of hit and miss. Business class on Fly Dubai is very nice, although this is only a three hour flight and I just can't justify spending that kind of money for a three hour flight. Uh, the seats here are very comfortable, they're very narrow. Uh, this is a discount airline. Um, the gentleman sitting next to me was six foot three and I, I think he must have been miserable the whole three hours, although he didn't complain at all. I'm only five foot ten, and the uh, the seats were uncomfortably close for me, so I, I got to give it to him for <laughs> being as patient as he was. Quick look at the in-flight beverage menu. Hit pause if you need a few more seconds to read it. The flight attendant crew on this flight was very polite, uh, great crew. Uh, they're serving dinner here. Dinner didn't look like much. I had to look up just what exactly chicken mandi is. It's a Yemeni smoked chicken and rice, and it may not look like much, but it was delicious. Um, it's a three hour flight, so you don't get a whole lot, but it was good. 
Getting ready to land in Dubai, it's a short three hour flight. Uh, the crew was amazing, the food was very tasty, there was no turbulence, and all in all a very enjoyable flight. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe if you do, and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for flying with me.